morning, you guys. So this is breakfast this morning for AJJ. He's going to have some oats. I'm going to put my new butter that I found at my local Tom Thumb, which is a Vital Farms butter. This is 85% uh, butter fat. Um, and then it's unsalted. So that's going to go in his oatmeal. And I got the water boiling over here, so it's ready for oats. Um, and then I'm going to use some brown sugar in my son's oats. Just a little bit, not a lot. And then I always top it off with some organic uh, Horizon um, milk. And for myself, I'm going to have some Greek non-fat, 0% um, milk fat, um, yogurt, blueberry. Um, so I'm going to have some of that. And this is from... Trader Joe's and then I'm going to have some of Trader Joe's 100% juice which is organic carrot juice which this is really good I need to find a different one um I was in a rush that day so I didn't have time to look and see if they had other ones but if they had like a pineapple one oh my goodness but yeah let me get to my son's breakfast and then I'll get back to what um I was going to be doing intentionally <laughs> so I normally put like berries and stuff on top of Ashna's oatmeal but this morning I ran out of fruit so I just put a little bit of brown sugar on top and yeah he'll eat these he'll tear them up y'all but I already ate my breakfast while I was cooking his breakfast so yeah this is what we like so I decided to make us some ramen noodles um, because AJJ is sick, he's under the weather, coughing and stuff like that. And I've been a little bit under the weather with like my thyroid and stuff like that. So what good is it to eat something harmful for your throat instead of something hot and warm and something that's going to loosen you up? So yeah, I decided to go ahead and make us some ramen. I put some of the garlic powder in there because I don't like the taste of like just no kind of seasoning in there but besides the chicken flavor so I wanted to like spice it up a little bit well not spice it up but you know put my own flavors in there a little bit so I added some parsley flakes and it already had like parsley flakes in it you guys know that I love to see like green stuff in my food like especially herbs um that I know that's gonna help me out and um want to make my Hi. food taste good so yeah so right now I'm just kind of mixing it all up, stare, 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 and watch it and put more water in it because I don't like a dry noodle uh, noodles. Um, so this is the, the finished product of our lunch. Um, looks good, tastes good. And then we're going to go and have some of the uh, Tropicana Cocoa Blends. Oh, it's so freaking good. If you haven't tried it, you need to try it now. Go buy it. So I just have some, this is our dinner, so I'm just going to boil some boil in the bag jasmine rice from a Success 10 minutes. And I just kind of added some of the sea salt in the water so the rice wouldn't be like all sticking and stuff like that. Um, you can put a little extra virgin olive oil in there as well or some coconut oil in there. Um, but I just like putting sea salt because that like loosen up the rice and stuff like that. Um, and then over here, as you can see, I have my grill pan. I haven't even turned it on yet. I'm just trying to uh, get this rice done first. And then I'm going to have some turkey um, me uh, turkey meat patties. And I'm going to choose my Goya adobo seasoning, some parsley back there, onion powder, garlic um, powder, and black pepper. These are more like my run to go to type of seasoning I really don't use any other seasoning but these and then I have some of the uh, pig sweet farm seasoning blend which has like bell peppers onions um, you know um, I think it has like celery I'm not sure in there and then I have the butterball all natural ground turkey here then I want to try this um, burger pressing from Dollar Tree which is the cooking concepts so that's from Dollar Tree and then we're gonna just have some steamed broccoli and so that's it so we're gonna have rice meat patties um, turkey meat patties and broccoli I may throw some corn in there so um, yeah <laughs> 
but um, that's what we're having for dinner. So I got this bowl from Dollar Tree, so you can definitely go get you a cheap bowl from anywhere. Put your turkey meat in there or ground meat in there. Put your seasonings. You can definitely use this as a meatloaf. Add two eggs, mix it up. And if you put bread, oats, or whatever you put in there to keep the meat together, then you do that. I perfectly don't like any type of bread substance in my meatloaf, so I use the muffin tins to keep it like together. Um, and also... Um, you can put whatever seasoning and stuff like that. You definitely don't have to use the stuff that I use, but I just perfectly love, love, love veggies in my, like, turkey burgers. Um, I got this little hamburger <laughs> musher masher thing from Dollar Tree. Just want to try to test it out. And, girl, I'm going to tell you right now, the way to use that thing is put some water in your hands first, put some meat in your hands, roll it around like a meatball, smush it, uh, roll it around in like a meatball, place it inside of this uh, hamburger smusher thing and it, and turn it over and then it should come out. The way that I was doing it right here was just the hard way and I wouldn't suggest you guys do it that way. So just put some water in your hands, roll it around like a ball, place it inside of the meat smasher, turn the meat smasher over and you have a nice uh, little uh, meat patty. So that's my advice for the moms that are trying to make these nice round meat patties. <laughs> so yeah. So as you can see, my meat patties, turkey meat patties are looking juicy, very juicy. Hey, okay. So I'm finished um, making my rice. In my rice, I put some of the Maggie's chicken flavor. That's why my rice look yellow. It tastes so good. Put a little butter in there. Whatever type of butter you use, put it in there and mix, mix, mix. I will feather that rice with a fork instead of a spoon. I think I feathered it with a spoon. I'm not sure. But make sure you feather the rice to make it look fluffy and nice with this with the fork. Um, but yeah, I was just um, I had like a little rubber tub thing that I was you know I'm just me personally when I cook, I like to cook and get an old wig girl. I like to cook and put it in the little Tupperware, put it on the stove. If somebody hungry, they can go and get their own portion size of food. Um, you don't have to worry about washing like a lot of dishes because when I'm like making my food, I am once it's done, I will go and wash the dish. I've made myself do this for a long time, but that's how I was raised with my mom as well. You cook it, you clean it, you cook, you clean. So when it's time to like sit down and eat, you ain't got to worry about getting back up and worrying about those dishes. Okay. So my advice to all the mamas out there, once you cook, one dish, like a few of mashed potatoes, make sure you wash that pot out and go to the next. If you're making something else, clean that pot out and go to the next because it's so easy and you have more time to spend with your family. But yeah, this is the steamable broccoli that I have and I wanted to just try to try it out because I never liked steamed broccoli. But oh my gosh, with that Goya seasoning in it, mix it around, put a little water in there, put it in the microwave for like six or seven minutes don't don't go into that microwave and open it okay trying to check on it it's gonna cook girl it's gonna cook let it cook okay um and then i'm gonna put some butter in there this is the vital um farms uh unsalted 85 percent um more fat butter fat i guess <laughs> um in it but this is some good butter i would suggest you moms that don't want like all the salt in the butter for the kids to purchase this one. Again, it's Vital Butter Farms. Last meal of the day will be the turkey patties with the rice. I actually put some chickens, um, like some, I don't know how to put, it's, um, see, it's, this is Maggie's chicken flavor bouillon. I put that in the rice. And that was it. And then I have some broccoli and some almond flour and almond milk gravy with a little bit of my Goya aduba seasoning. So yeah, this is what we're having for dinner. This is the end of what I eat in the day. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys later. Bye.